Welcome back to more Final Fantasy XIII, everyone. So last time I was part one of the series, we got introduced to the game, the cutscenes, and all that stuff. Pretty cool. This time, though, I'm going to uh, just begin by talking about the menu, because I haven't talked about that yet. You know, just a quick overview, pretty much. So if you go to status, you are then able to see, you know, the status of every single character. It's actually very weird, because in this game, there is no defense stat. Okay, there's actually no defense, or magic defense, or luck, or agility or evasion, or accuracy. I mean, despite it being Final Fantasy XIII, you would think that the game would be more complex. Actually, no, it's one of the more simplistic Final Fantasy games ever. There's HP, Strength, and Magic. There's actually no MP, by the way, I forgot to mention that. There's no MP either, just HP, Strength, and Magic, and that's it. Pretty self-explanatory, but Strength, Physical Attacks, Magic, Magical Attacks. So yeah, um... You can see, you know, your character's various uh, HP, strength, magic, uh, ATB levels. As you can see, I have two ATBs per character. You can see the weapon equip, Blaze Fire Saber level 1, and then Vega 42 is level 1. Accessories, nothing at the moment. Passability is nothing, and resistance is nothing at all. But once you get some, they'll actually appear here. Okay. Next up is abilities. You're able to see every single ability that that character can actually do at the moment. Uh, Lightning can do attack and blitz, and you can also see their ATB cost, how much they... Uh, uh, how much ATBs each ability costs. Sass can only attack at the moment. Okay. Equipment, where you're able to equip your weapon, but we only have one of each, and your accessories, which we have nothing of, for both characters, actually, as you can see. I mean, you already know this because of the status screen, you know, that I showed you. You can also optimize in which the game automatically puts, like, the best possible equipment for you. I usually don't do that. You can also remove accessories, but you can't remove weapons. You can only switch weapons. Inventory is basic items, you have your potions, you know, uh, phoenix downs, whatever, a bunch of stuff. Now, like I said, in this game you can heal, well, I mean, sorry, you heal automatically between battles. So if you actually press potion again, you can't use it. You can sort them, categorize them however you want, but you can't actually use them because you'll get a full heal automatically after the battle's finished. Weapons, alright, accessories, we got nothing, components, we have wicked fangs. Like I said, components are essentially your loot or materials from typical Final Fantasy or RPG games. Key items. Unicorn Mart grants access to the uh, Unicorn Mart from save points. The data log is, um, it has a bunch of stuff. It does. Survival Knife, Lightning's birthday present, key item for Lightning. Great Kanye, what the hell is this? A personal gravity control device? When did I get this? I don't know, whatever. But that's that. Map. That's the map, basically. You're able to see the map if you want to, you know. That's cool. Okay, whatever. Uh, data log. So the data log is the place to go to if you want to get information about tutorials or story stuff once you view the event. For example, if you go to event and you go to chapter one and read it, it pretty much gives you an overview of what happened. I'm just gonna be telling you this right now. I am not gonna be reading this. Why? Because you're already seeing the cutscenes and honestly, if you're watching a Let's Play, I don't think you wanna watch the Let's Player read the dialogue that you just kind of witnessed in an event, okay? It's just redundant, and it's going to be boring, and it's going to make a lot of you just click out of the video, which is, you know, I get why. It's, it's a stupid thing to do, to be doing this. I'm not going to do that. And then for all of this, it's really just tutorials, as you can see. All tutorial stuff. There's nothing really important about talking about all this, so... Yeah, enemy intel is pretty unique. You're able to actually see the various enemies and stuff. Uh, as you can see, some stuff say question marks, because the more enemies of that kind that you defeat, the more stuff will get unlocked. You can also use Libra later on, which reveals a pretty good amount of, stu of uh, information and stuff as well. But yeah, just letting you know, you know? That's that militarized units, Razor Claws, Pantheron, there we go, and then Annihilators. The mini-boss that we fought. Okay. That's that. But yeah, like I said, there's a lot. There's a lot here to do. A lot of stuff, so you're going to be seeing this icon, the exclamation mark on data log, quite often throughout the game. It's always going to be on, so hopefully it doesn't bother you, like if you're OCD, having that thing, but it's going to be like that. Oh yeah, and then finally, settings, you already know, it's just configuration stuff, which I already fixed before the game started. And that's it. Okay, so I talked about the menu, that was a lot of speaking. Yeah. Now let's actually go into some nice battles and stuff. What? There's a dude, oh shoot! Alright, more encounters. Let's begin by targeting the weaker dude. Get him out of the way. 
Okay. He's done. So Psychom Aerial Recon. A new enemy. These have a little bit more HP. Just gotta be careful. But like I said, in this game, if you take a lot of damage, it's okay because you get full heals after the battle. So it's completely okay to be taking a lot of damage. Because you, you don't have to worry about it after the battle's over. Which, in a way, it makes things really convenient. You know, it really does. Like I said, the game is actually very simplistic. In terms of, like, the, you know, the attributes you have. You only have HP, Strength, and Magic. The battling is just auto-battle. Quite simple. Play it more so plays itself, you know, the game. Which is, it's interesting, but like I keep saying, that's what causes it to miss for some people. They don't like it too much for that reason. Okay, so there's a staircase up here. Which leads to a chest, I believe. And by chest, I mean treasure sphere. If I say chest, you know what you know I mean treasure. It's just, yeah, whatever. We got an accessory. So that's our first one. Let's go to equipment. I guess I'll give it to you. Iron Bangle, HP plus 50. All right, let's put it. There we go. She has 250 HP now. So I believe there's one more treasure sphere here in this area. And it's not that far away, actually. Is it like... It's somewhere over there. I don't know where it freaking is. Who the hell are you? Oh, I was like, what the heck? Oh my god. Did you see that? That's crazy. Oh, you're here. Give it to me. 50 gil. Oh, fantastic. I'm so rich now. Oh man, I am like the richest guy ever. 50 gil. It's so much that I don't know what to do with it. Okay, Psychon Mordens, these are actually garbage enemies. These suck. They can get two shotted. Okay, okay, 2.5 shotted. Sorry. My bad. And you are dead. By the way, you might be asking, how do you level up in this game? How do you get experience? It's funny you ask that because in Chapter 1 and Chapter 2 in this game, you actually don't level up. You don't get experience. It's not until Chapter 3 where you finally start to develop, you know, experience. Wait, it's not called experience, but you'll see. Preemptive strike. Rebels. So much for the element of surprise. Item usage, another tutorial. Should I do this or should I skip? I'm gonna skip it. It's just gonna tell you about, you know, using items in combat. It's by simply going down here, but really, whatever. Just attack. I'm gonna attack the warden first, because he's weaker. He's much weaker. Now, uh, one thing I should mention is that typically the other party members will always target the your leader character. So, like, I switched targets with lightning, so Saz targeted him as well. Now, that's only true for chapter 1 and 2. Eventually, when um, other things happen, I'll just say classes, basically classes in this game, are made, um, only certain classes will target the leader's target as well. It becomes more situational. Holy shit. Okay, that's crazy. There's no time. Then what do you suggest we do? Quiet. Hey! Hey! hey, hey. Wait! Uh, no, no, don't leave me! Uh, let go! The hell no! Uh, You're my only way out of here! Uh, no! Uh, 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 Might get us across. Right there. Right? Looks that way. All right, you leave this to me. Okay, so the data log just got updated, and you'll be seeing that a lot as cutscenes go on, you know? A lot. So where the hell are we at now? Now, if you press select... Wait, no, not select. If you press... Which button is it again? Dude, there's a button. I know for a fact there's a button. How do you open the map faster? Wasn't there a way to open the map faster? 
Oh, there we go. Square. It's square. I was trying to figure it out because I knew it wasn't by tapping triangle with the map. As you can see, we are um, over here now in the new area. So we were over there previously, but now we are a bit further up north in the next section. So we are the Hanging Edge Arrow Rail Truceway 11E. What the hell kind of names are these, man? Seriously? Seriously? Anyway, I think in here... Is there something? No, there's not. Shit. Okay. Well, I guess I'll just run on through then. I don't even know where the hell I'm at. Hold on a second. Okay, okay, that makes more sense. That makes more sense, actually. Let's face these. Oh, shoot. This might be a tough battle. You know what I should do is probably... Yeah, I mean, blitzing is fine. Might be okay. Do it. Do the blitz. There we go. We're getting more characters. Yeah, so this battle could be a little bit more difficult because of the massive attacks that you'll receive, but it's best to just be aggressive, try to kill some as soon as possible, you know? Okay, she keeps blitzing though every single time. I don't really want that to happen all the time. Yeah, one thing I should mention is staggering, although the game does have its own tutorial later on. Basically, when you damage an enemy enough times without it dying, you can build up that bar. As you can see, it's at 100. If you're attacking it, it keeps building up more 101, and you can see the orange bar building up more. When it fills up all the way, the enemy is what we call staggered. Usually in staggered, uh, the defenses are down, and you can do a lot more damage. So, yeah, you'll be fine that out eventually. Oh my god, Seth is almost dead. He got this stuff. Tougher battle there, but we did it. Without consuming a potion, Wicked Fang won. Okay. Well then. It's actually very straightforward still. Because I thought there was... Dude, that's weird. What the hell? Is that, is that a... That's a save station there. I'm already like getting so lost here. Because I went that way and then... Oh, I see now, I see. Okay. I gotta walk this way, duh. I mean, my god. There's a save point which I'm just going to ignore. Any chests in here? Nothing? No, just activate. Oh yeah, in order to activate stuff in this game, it actually has to face the screen. Like, look, if I do this, it doesn't work. Even though lightning is looking at the object, the camera's not on it. The camera has to be facing the object of interest in order to activate, which is kind of stupid in a way, but whatever. Okay, so we're in a new area. Any stuff over here? No, actually. I mean, it's already like, it's only chapter one, yet it's already so freaking confusing, <laughs> generally. Okay. Skybridge 369. Deportees, are we? Weapons down. I hate for this to turn ugly. Uh, turn ugly? He wants to kill us without a fight. Time's up! Okay, boss battle time, or mini boss battle I should say. So we have another tutorial, the attack chain. It's basically what I was talking about, about the whole staggering thing, so I'm going to skip the tutorial as well, and let's just battle. Now it's best to go after the enforcers first, because they're weaker. Get them out of the way, because they're going to be so annoying. Stay together, stay together. Damn it, I was trying to double hit him. Couldn't though. Blitz! Damn it, he only hit one, lightning, what the hell? Okay, hit the next enforcer, he's almost dead though. Or both, okay. Now it's just a boss. Now be careful here. So what you want to do is simply build up this bar all the way through. To the very top. It's almost there as you can see. Come on, Saz. Do it. Stagger him. There we go. He's staggered. When it's staggered, the damage you'll do is significantly higher as you can see. And also the bar, instead of going up, depletes back down. Stagger mode will maintain as long as the bar is depleting down. Once I go... Oh shit. You know what I should do? Just to be safe. Because I might actually die. He still has a decent amount of health left. He's still staggered, though. Now, one thing I don't like sometimes is that when an enemy moves and you attack, you might actually miss your attack. That's, that kind of happened there at one point. I kind of saw it. So just be very careful. Like, sometimes timing is important. Like, you want to cancel your attack and then attack again later. It's, it's kind of weird. Potion 1, Credit Chip 1. Okay. So, soldier... 
What's your angle? What? Was classified military info? Huh? What's the matter? You quit, didn't you? What, did you think I'm gonna go out there and just tell everybody your secrets? Huh? My angle. I'm after the foul sea. <laughs> Still happy you tagged along. Didn't have a choice. People need heroes. Here. You keep your cool, and they will too. You got it? Got it. What's our motto? The army's no match for Nora. That a boy. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, and just like that, we get introduced to another main character of the game, another iconic character next to Lightning, Snow. It's funny because both Lightning and Snow are the two characters that represent World of Final Fantasy, you know, from their respective game, Final Fantasy XIII. So yeah, this is Snow. Snow generally has uh, the most HP out of any party member in the game. He'll be finding out eventually. He's actually the best Sentinel. And by, and by Sentinel, you're like, what the hell is that? Well. It's the classes I'm talking about, you know, basically. So let's see, I already got that. Wait, what the hell was that? Was that Gil? I think that was Gil. I was just like <laughs> talking and not paying attention. Okay, there's a save point here. But whatever, screw that. Man, so many injured people here, man. This, this is crazy. Oh, damn it. I keep making. I keep crashing things with the microphone. I, I don't know if that got picked up. Probably it did. Then take a nap. Really? Can I? Sure. And when we're taking a dirt nap, you can save them all. No, oh, that's even worse. <sighs> no dirt naps today. We're all in this together. Our enemies, the Cocoon Sanctum. Their dreaded Psycom, no less. What's the dread? Psycom's nothing but a whole bunch of bluster and bullying. They've got nothing on Nora. Well, we are the heroes, after all. Huh? Let's prove it! Yeah! yeah. Sanctum's gonna pay for this. Let's fight him. Okay, so, we now have a new party. This time it is a party of three. It consists of Snow, Gadot, and Lebro. So... Snow actually, I believe he has normal attacks and also a grenade ability. Yeah, hand grenade, which is essentially like a blitz. The really funny thing about this is that Snow eventually loses that ability. Like, he has the ability now, 
but beginning I think from chapter 3 or something, he doesn't have it anymore. And I've always been like, what? Like, even, like, Blitz from Lightning, she keeps it, you know, but he doesn't keep Hand Grenade, I don't know why. Anyway, that was incredibly easy. Well, okay. Let's just move forward, I don't think there's any treasure here until much later. Another battle, let's just go. I mean, it's almost as like battles at the moment just feel like a waste of time because you're not getting experience, you know? Actually, if you can avoid them, it might be better. Because, like, the only thing you get is just items, and that's if you get the items, because you only get the items sometimes. It's essentially a drop rate, there's a chance you'll get the items, you know? Like, here I go, see nothing, see? So it's luck based for the items, so, like, nothing is guaranteed in these battles, you know? Soldiers everywhere. Yo, boss. What's the plan? Charge in, guns blazing. Hey, that's not a plan. Real heroes don't need plans. 